ओके अन से लास्ट टाइम नो ये फे अम टैक्स वन एंड टैक्स टू ना कि नेम ऐसे कुम हाँ बाय नेम बेसे टैक्स टू ना मिनिम से भी आशा से ये वन टू वन टू पार्ट ऑफ बिलिया या टैक्स वन टैक्स वन ना माये माये सम पार्टस ये अ सो फार अंडरस्टैंड नो ये या कमा एंड देन मैं कह से मेरे फ्रेंड्स भी सो अब मुझे वे लाइक ना ये ये डिस्कस ही अबाउट इट एंड इन आउट ये ये आल्सो ट्राई टू शेयर इट विथ देम एंड देन 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 आज इस लव मैच अंडरस्टैंड ना कुछ और पांच जैसे दे 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 ऑल अप्रिशिएट एंड से ओके एंड एंड बेसिक एक ओपिनियन है सी how are you doing we go back tax too na um e di kan ka format no se ba e bi me pese e pese sign me sign repeat you ha na vi ya ke ti ro min so board ni so na ma sha da na ma tu ma tu ma de ma de ma de ha ne ti ben ko ko ba de okay ti ben ko ba ba de Okay. I have a conclusion. And I think we need the next couple. The best technology. Deba writing task 2 na the general thing I be here is any matter of intro body conclusion. But we give body number. It's all body paragraph 1. It's all paragraph 2. Now paragraph 3. Okay. Do you know no? Introduction before one paragraph. Body paragraph. Uh, body body no so before at least two paragraphs and at most three paragraphs. Now okay. conclusion of the last paragraph. And uh, one, two. So which are three body paragraphs? Uh, paragraph, so three body paragraphs. Five paragraphs in all. Now so which two body paragraphs? So which are four paragraphs in all. And your paragraph should be within four. To five paragraphs for tax two. No? Okay. If I'm going to submit maybe question, be Anna. I heard like I heard how I introduce my so John. Say that he didn't need an opinion. Is he? Oh my opinion. The most of the question be put sir. Do you agree or disagree? And to what extent? The answer is that. And then my mind will. See that's what you do. Do you agree? Or disagree. Now, we will start. To what extent? To what extent? Do you agree or disagree? Okay. The more opinion is now. These are the two things. Uh, two questions are: uh, Do you agree or disagree? And to what extent do you agree or disagree? To be whom move back? Can I say, Baba? Do you agree or disagree? And to what extent do you agree or disagree? Indeed. Okay. When you have to say, but as you try to identify what type of answer most people are better, your opinion is it. So I'm asking another question. Maybe you have a question. Do you? Okay. Do you have um? Me try to make me a similar question on Google. Me who be me a me do me fast no. I show laptop no so bad. When you have some few tips, you have a person be here answer na. We are from British Council site. I'm going to submit my share screen na. Okay. Let's submit my share screen na. Share screen. Start na. Uh, thank you. Uh, yeah. Tips, 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 Vianna. Uh, tips. Introduce your essay. Blah, blah, blah. The first one, tip. I'm going to talk. I'm going to talk. British Council. Learn English. British Council. An opinion essay. 
Tienes que vamos a mojar, vamos a profesar. Pero no, ok. Just first introduce you by restating the question in your own ways. Then, yeah, and really, I hope you can come on some paraphrasing. Paraphrasing, yeah. Oh, I mean, 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 I Okay. Into the first step, yeah. So, be into this introduction. The introduction, not be powerful. You see, question here, the amount. Uh, this time, we can say it should be sixty percent of our words, but and just say words now we use an assistant medium. I say the same thing. And I'll say, of course, again, but I'll say, if the essay asks you to what extent do you agree, make your opinion clear throughout. You can either agree, partially agree, or disagree with the statement, explaining and justifying your opinion. But I uh, can't say, is it that you are agreeing or disagreeing? Men go for partially agree because, and there's some kind of, we want here. Yeah. So, of course, partially agree, yeah. it means, say, uh, at the point who agree, at the point who disagree, they told me true convincingly. My examiner let me put that distinction. You know? But some people okay. want to be on the safer side that uh, go for either you agree, totally agree, or you disagree. Then, for all okay. my practice, you know, I will see that limiting myself to agree or disagree, partially agree, then come a dictionary. Because Okay. As I will be more careful. Now to me explaining because I don't need this. So we can say you partially agree. Yeah. As a point in our region, you know, it makes make meaning in that sense. Sure. At the end of the day, who sure. can not have come, have come more into the other side? It means say tax response. Okay. What for you? Okay. Definitely. Uh, I hope yeah. that's a very criteria now. Only be a bit slow. Like we be examining an expert for you. Yeah. 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 Um, So then you say like you make a firm stand. Who agree? Who agree? Who disagree? Who disagree? Yeah. So you don't go for officially. Yeah, you be a okay. Yeah. See, man, man, like don't prove yourself. Say hey, you just make, don't make things complicated. Like just be simple. Go All for right. one side. Now go for the other side. Mm -hmm. see, yeah, okay. first one. I say, do you agree or disagree? There's a difference between do you agree or disagree. Now to what extent do you agree or disagree? So, when your first question is, do you agree or disagree? Yeah. You can either state whether you agree or disagree without adding any adjective. Adjective needs say the extension. Because, which my, like, usually, where is that? Would you be making that extension here? Um, totally. Completely. Um, okay. Fully. So, the question is about to what extent do you agree or disagree? Yeah. They expect you to add some adjectives, something to qualify the like the way that which you agree or disagree. Okay. In this area, there's a difference between do you agree or disagree, and to what extent, even though they are seeking for your opinion in whichever way, but they want to know that with the second one, they want to know the level with which you agree. Is it to the fullest? So if you fully agree, you state it. If you totally agree, if you completely agree. If you partially agree, in dinner, make us say you can partially agree, you can totally agree, you can fully agree, you can fully disagree, you can um, completely disagree, whichever way, but partially agree and I partially disagree, you know, it's some way. You should be more careful in how you raise out your points. And that's a humble I don't know, they will say you shouldn't, it should be in the middle. Don't try to swing much the other side. And that's how I deviate from the question. And how I deviate from whole point, you know, I already say you partially agree, you know. And the, okay. like the best of the answer is there are two distinctions between do you agree or disagree? And uh, to what extent do you agree? Okay. But it's not, I, I mean, Obia Marke or down. Say, Bion Busa said, do you agree or disagree? Now, can say, I fully agree. Obia Marke or down. It's still, but even no man can say, to what extent do you agree? But I think it's still 
Yeah, it makes sense. We'll be a market with them. But if you fully agree, if you reach, what the examiner is looking out for is your point to support your agreement. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The third point is the structure should be one, your introduction. So you just have to paraphrase whatever words in that amount. It's a question you have, maybe you'll say computers are being used more and more in education. And some say there will soon be no role for teachers in education. To what extent do you agree or disagree? So this is a complete statement, eh, daho. A topic, eh, daho. And let me make this thing clear. Every essay, I'm going to say every IELTS writing essay comes in two forms. The topic and the question. So the topic is usually the statement, eh, the man. And a question here, the, how they expect you to do. Do for opinion and say now, the question will be like, to what extent do you agree or disagree? And I thought, Scenario now mechanics is here, and I talk in here. Computers are being used more and more in education, and some say there will, there will be soon no role for teachers in education. And that is the topic. The new opinion is today be out of it and cause and effect that it might happen. Say be out of it. situation be like crime is more rampant in the society. The first question, and that statement is the topic. The first question would be, What are the causes of crime? The second question would be, What solutions can you suggest to minimize crime? In the, those are the questions. And I talk to the first one, crime is being rampant in. So, the my question is two, two parts. Your introduction should be the paraphrased version of the topic. Okay. And your body is going to give an answer to the question. And mm -hmm. like, I'm going to share with you share with them for now. Okay. In the end of the structure, I said the structure should be introduction. In the end, I can't want to say the end of the topic, you know, paraphrase the computers have been used more and more in education. And some say there will soon be no rule for teachers in education. So, you have to question me, ask yourself, how are you going to paraphrase this? Or one person, I'm going to ask you, where is your own? To mean your own, but answer some the meaning. Hey, well, hold on. You can ask yourself, okay, what words can I use in place of computers? Who or where is this, sir? What word can I use in place of education? What word can I use in place of teacher? And uh, what sentence structure and a bit may use you have the whole format in answer. And they ask yourself this question. To me, the immediate answer, they may practice, you know, there are some words here where they are, there's no way I beat my paraphrase, and they are, there's no way I beat me as a son. So you have to maintain them. And it's your responsibility to identify those words in your uh, question, you know. Like I said, this, with this word, I'm not, you're not going to worry yourself. Where then, yeah, for example, more. Who's not any convincing way to replace that? Uh -huh. But there are some of them, I think, so, okay, with this, I can, uh, meet me, the mean to me, the time I can meet me, put in the way, I be meaning the same thing. The computers, education, um, teachers. Anna. Last week, the paraphrase is not always about changing the exact words, but I can change the sentence format. Okay. And the, I mean, I mean, um, I mean, uh, and to this question, there must be a paraphrase here. Let me say, it is believed by most people that computers should be. Um, used more as compared to or such computers are being used more and more in education. And the, we not say, uh, it is believed by most people that computers should be maximized or the use of computers should be maximized in education or in our educational curriculum. Like whichever we see the the message and say make sure whatever you are saying you know, and our words now we use you know, still carry the same meaning in our question you know, a convenient. You know. Okay. Okay. Ah, so it is believed, and as some people believe that computers, I'm not changing computers, they want to be maintained. But down the day, you know, there are some of the words, and they say, in the way, and yet the same as the whole question, you know, the, the whole topic. You know. the, yeah. Some people believe that computers or the use of how the computers are being used, some people believe that computers should be much, the use of computers in schools should be maximized. How others also think computers should be eliminated or, I mean, like, depending on, I, I think it's more, uh, like I said, about the rule of computers and teachers. Yeah. 
Because computers have been used more and more in education, and some say there will soon be no role for teachers. And I can also say, as I don't believe that some years to come, computers will take the place of teachers. Power for the strength Okay. That's the power we need for. The internet of rule, not my computer to take the place of teachers. Yes. The, like whichever way that I didn't say, and our computers will replace teachers. And the whichever way I think say you paraphrase to mean they say paraphrase in India a skill and it's no be anyhow or like what kind of bro anyhow. And the, if you give this question to ten people, be able to a different thing. But on the day, you know, it's not about the same, you know, it's about the meaning, you know, whether it, it have the same meaning. Okay. Yeah, so that's the point. See, when you introduce in the year, now the first reason why you agree and disagree, they say about body, you know. But um, the argument here is, should you state that you agree in the introduction, and now uh, you just have to wait. Who could do conclusion now? No, actually, there has been this controversy. Be brave. Uh -huh. But before that, my my main kind of paraphrasing will be a how. Only parent paraphrasing will have. But some people believe okay. technology may be used to replace teachers in the future. In the unknown, where you compete as nephew, any technology and share. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and the okay. American, like it depends on how we paraphrase, but down the day, you know, the meaning should be the same. Mm -hmm. the, but what can we yeah, what technology yeah? When you're abroad, do do. Yeah, no say, technology. Oh. A foam a foam machine thing, you know, yeah, yeah. Hey, more of technology. Yeah, yeah, you see, you can just be specific on not what not turn the other side in the round. Okay, okay. Okay. You see, the mechanic is a good paraphrase. And I have a bad paraphrase. Or due to the rising prevalence of advanced technology, computers are becoming more useful. This misstates the topic because it is not about whether computers are useful. It's about the rule of computers against teachers. Mm -hmm. It's like the impression of creative and is a only panel of privacy are diverting from the question. How mm -hmm. about the usefulness of computer? But the topic in the about the rule of computers against teachers. How computers are going to replace teachers some years to come. In the wow. paraphrase, you know, paraphrase, yeah, I saw your care for Anessa. I don't really know where the beauty from topic in the crown and the topic in the can one seven. It's just one way to reach my, my movie out of the line. You see, I saw your care for now. We can we introduce the first impression of where you know, it is the one shown here. Yeah, it gives you the impression that we've been making more mistakes. Okay. Yeah, we asked the word I say, who the best state to opinion in the uh, introduction. introduction, and I said, we're trying. In the end, about opinion, is that do you agree or disagree? The best thing is to state your stance in the introduction. The reason is. So you stay to stance in the introduction now. You are giving the examiner a sense of direction. What direction it towards the In the, the examiner and the expert say, okay, you agree that computers will take the role of teachers some years to come. You agree to that point. In the, mm -hmm. the point of how reasoning and I should go in favor of that side. The, the examiner is looking out for that point. Ah, I suggest they say, computers will take the role of teachers. Mm -hmm. So that is why I so stated who stands our introduction you know, about opinion essay. About do you agree or disagree? And to what extent do you agree or disagree? And this all kind of point in the emphasis of paraphrase sentence need to say be a, some people believe that computers um will take the place of teachers some years to come. Others also think otherwise. Now I know your first, and Rebecca said you should have a background statement. Then you your first, um, I can't say, sentence. Now I'll call the next sentence. In the full stop, where to ask you? And then I'll be throw statements. Tizzy statements here, over the 
which side you are going for. Can you be clear on that in the thesis statement? In the, if you have it, my statement say, um, I totally agree that teachers should be replaced with computers. And I totally agree that computers will replace teachers some years to come. Because there are two opinions here. Others think computers will replace teachers. Others think teachers will still be teachers. Like, computers cannot replace teachers. So there are two opinions here. And it's up to you to choose your stand. Do you think computers will replace teachers? If yes, then you totally agree. And you agree. Okay. And others also say, say, who stated with these statements, you know? If you have to say, I agree that computers would replace teachers. Because you have to add a reason that you're going to talk about in the body. Like, I'm not believe it, oh, yeah, no, it gives you the chance of getting a higher balance score. Mm. Because already, you know, it's like you are giving more insight to the examiner. I'm an even who points at Obabetro because it be a point one, this and that, point two, this and that. In, the, in your introduction, what powerful is it? Like, what's your examiner, your opinion? What's your, you know, why you believe that opinion exists? By raising the reasons. And now, who drifts it to the body now? Depending on the number of reasons I raise you up, introduction, I'm so ready to two. It means your body paragraph should be two. So you raise it three points. Your body paragraph should be three points because each paragraph is going to carry one reason, one idea. They want to say, yeah, I raise three points or oh, introduction. No. Maybe I totally agree that computers will replace teachers because number one, this, number two, this, number three, that. Now, if you have a body, you know, instead of three points, now you have two points. It means that you still don't miss the requirement because you give the examiner an impression that I want to talk about three points. But how comes you have two? Okay. And the same thing, the other way around. Maybe I receive two points, now I bet you have three points in the body. Okay. And whatever you see, oh, I can't say, what about obesity, oh, this statement, you know, should be the same thing as I bet you have a body, you know? To be viewed by the now, you just have to open up a topic sentence. A topic sentence is just a statement to direct the examiner about what you are going to talk about. In the HR examiner, no, the first point now because I found I will raise your introduction. See, let me see some of the points of review. Um, okay, I see. Um, because I totally agree that teachers should be placed to complete it because um, they are cheaper. And more convenient. You see, now there be a more first point in the um how cheap computers are as compared to teachers. If you have a oh for teacher you need so much of ideas, you can't be or compared to how are they or the laptop. And see, we are looking at it in the cheaper sense. Maybe our reason it is uh, because computers are cheaper. Um because maybe uh, computers are uh, I can't say I'm I'm can't say um I believe to move them around. They are easy to be moved as wherever. Well. It's portability. It is portable. Yeah. You can carry them anywhere, especially with a laptop, or you can take them anywhere, sit anywhere, and then steady. And they be as even as a two point view, cheaper portability now can once a This means it's always the first who oh, first body paragraph should talk about how cheap computers are against teachers. Second paragraph should talk about how portable computers are against teachers. Okay. That's how everybody should be. Until your topic sentence now, the main reason why computers would replace teachers is in terms of uh, maybe a uh, um, cost. Okay. In that impression, we are giving the examiner. We are going to compare computers and teachers. How expensive they are, or how cheap um, these two um, items are. And see, you state your point. Obey explaining such a way, say, go in favor of computer because also we agree that computers should take the role of teachers. In the topic center, the first sentence, I share, I share examiner, and be a, and I need a point, I would can come once him. Okay. And here, still paraphrasing, you know, Ekasa, in the other say, be a, who is first point in your teacher statement as computers are being cheaper. In the now, believe you say, it will take the place of teachers. Now, um, what will happen here is that so, but by the first body paragraph, now because about cheaper, like how cheap computers are, and so to me now, where it's be replacing an advert paraphrasing 
，那个是天比较有几百几百几百几百。OK OK。And like, you know, me, me, city topic and then say, and the main reason why computers do blitzes is the cost involved or the cost effectiveness. And I will be said, in this of cheap and my read, like cost effectiveness, me, but me, we, my mid major, they were still cheaper. And I mid major, it is less expensive. Like those ways now. Yeah, and this was me now, it's a bit to move around. So I'm a power of reason, it's a. In the virtual world, you shouldn't use a word more than three times in your essay. Because those people read cheaper, 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 cheaper. It gives the impression, say, like, only ways to express yourself. Did I wait a movie between, like, cheap, cheaper, um, is the cheapest, like, that kind of way? Didn't they have reason? I don't believe it's a cheaper one way, cheaper, 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 cheapest, 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 like, and you, okay, let's go to me now where to turn yourself around in that area. All right. The whole introduction, I heard how, it's in the introduction, you know, my main thing is coming out, you know. Okay. Let's make my stop, please. Now the MSHA, maybe I'll make my MSHA, MSHA, you know, I'll see. So introduction, which one interaction? Yeah, because the first reason why you agree or disagree. Then your body paragraph. We will take it to topics a sentence. If you're on the board, now call the second reason why we disagree and I won't agree. Then call the third reason why now we have a conclusion. Use power, use phrases to organize and link your ideas. Then we will come on some later. So the intro, no, like with this one, the intro, no, what the. Uh, the points that you write about in the body, no, I be can. So, be the reason why I think blah 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 is a be one. You state it two. You state it three. You state it. Nina can intro no. Like um bullet um bullet no. Uba you know. The other one fancy. Like in a sentence form, no more sentence form. In a sentence form. Okay. And the opinion is to never say you have a change to action. But the person I'm a guy, you know, yeah, that's what some people believe that the Armenian shortcuts computers. Computers. Computers are being used more and more in education. Some say that there will be soon more more room for teachers. Okay. I do believe that. The use of computers. Is months and months. In schools and would place. Teachers. However, others think otherwise. Food stuff. And this is your background statement. I don't know so much. Yeah, I can see. So this is your background statement. Some people believe that the use of computers is being maximized in schools and would replace teachers. However, others think otherwise. In the oh, call city statement, I want to be stated whether you agree or disagree. Wait, what I say? I totally agree. 
Sim. The assertion that um to hear maybe I would want to use computer again. Okay. Assertion that this device. Would, I have you should replace would would take the place okay. of can still use teachers because the so here your certain web agreement should tally. Mm -hmm. I have issue computers. I'm not that this, the, I should use these mm -hmm. devices yes. would take the place of teachers because they are cheaper, comma, portable. Now, let's say I want to talk about just two points. They are cheaper and portable. Full stop. So, this is my introduction. Wow. So you can see that, first of all, I have my background statement, which ends here. And I have my statement stating whether I agree, the extent to which I agree, and the points I want to talk about in the body. Portable and then cheaper. So now, when the examiner sees your introduction like this, the impression is that, one, when you say who I agree, Two, so these are the points and the reason why I uh, agree. In the see, I call body now. See, I mean, prepare the whole thing. Now, if you okay. so let's see, yeah, that is our introduction. In the body, see, I call body now. Your first paragraph, paragraph one, she talk about cheaper. Okay. Computers being cheap. Second paragraph, paragraph two, she talk about computers being portable. You shouldn't forget that so children should actually be able to get one line as a paragraph. Now about body paragraph one. In the, to start your body paragraph one, your topic sentence. So this topic sentence will tell the examiner where your body paragraph is heading towards. And now what aspect you are talking about. They can start uh, saying say, the main reason why computers should take the role of teachers is how cheap they are or how less expensive they are. To whichever way do you think can be placed cheaper? Because certain mechanics are to be used cheaper, 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 cheaper. In two your topic sentence, now I'm about to put it there. Supporting details. So the supporting details will be maybe about two sentences to explain why you think computers are cheaper, like to prove your point. And the last one can be maybe add example. Okay. So that part, one paragraph can contain a topic sentence. Just two. I'm um, one line or two line sentence uh, supporting information, uh, supporting detail, and you add example. Do you organize it like a paragraph in this way? And my examiner know the ability to follow whatever you are saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The, the same thing should apply to the paragraph two. Topic sentence, supporting details, add example. But what I used to do was that so my example of my first paragraph, my main example of second paragraph. I have my two three paragraphs, so my main example of first paragraph. Now first two paragraphs, third one, remember? And I know so, like, based on specific reasons, it'd be an antenna. And now to avoid time wasting here, you know. Oh, just to, just to, well, just to include, at least, so my try, my, 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 my other example, it gives me the opportunity to come in with certain words, examiners in the paper, for instance, for example, 
from an illustrative view, like those terms, you know. Uh -huh. and see, I just want to have one of them in there to prove to the examiner that I know where to start okay. and I, I know where to start when I'm about giving an example. Uh -huh. okay. I'm, I'm very sure at least just one of them. Meet my issue, for instance, meet my issue, for example. Meet my issue, uh, maybe a, uh, I will bear forward with my issue. Because mostly, for instance, for example, uh, they are common. Uh, number of bear for until I wait my finding out where it's at, which means obviously be our kind of example. I wait me that chance. For example, for instance, from an illustrative point of view, um, one particularly good example is like those terms, you know, uh, do you wait my finding. But if it is that uh, you have time and you have other more ways to just show the exam and say, you know, how to probably start an example and repeat, uh, you can just take them. Okay. 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 Indeed, what you're about to do after the last should be your conclusion. Now, the conclusion is very simple because uh, yeah, the paraphrase version of your introduction. Sure. The paraphrase version of your introduction. Indeed. So if I understand you well, this uh, opinion is is more or less like a, a debate. But here you take and then talk about only your stand. Oh, what you don't want like what can Yeah, you you don't consider other people's view and then like the banquets. You only focus on why you think this is that. Okay. In the conclusion, um, the powerful expression of the introduction and a body. Until you have any say, oh, Abel, the also kind of powerful reason, a very small because when you see the same words now, you see introduction, and you see the same words now, you see a body. The amount by the number of me say, oh, Abel, you stay this point. In the conclusion, in the conclusion, let's start it this way. Then we make sure to share with the word in conclusion. Okay. Said it. That's why I'm not sharing with overall. So why in conclusion, I'm not to conclude. These are the two formally accepted ways. Better this day, maybe to sum up. But okay. let's go for it to conclude. And then in conclusion, comma. All right. Now, if um, what's our state or point in the game? To go back to introduction, also agree. In conclusion, comma. I completely, the one that we are first on the issue, totally. You say totally, eh? See, I completely um and I'm I'm of the view that and I was in conclusion, I'm of the view that computers would be more active in classroom teaching and I like anything, just to make sure, say, like, uh, a conformity to the ultra introduction and only be a for uh, a question and a statement. You know? Okay. Do statement is uh, because, not a point number, they are, you see, by that time, you should get another way to replace cheaper. Yeah. They are less expensive. You should get another way to replace portable. They are more handy. More handy or oh, easy to carry. And uh, they are easy to carry, full stop. What will be your conclusion? Oh, just that. Okay. The conclusion here, oh, paraphrase, like, oh, time we state your agreement, plus why you agree. Do you summarize okay. all the points in our region, you know? Oh, 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 oh. 
So you must be better to say you can add recommendation, but I don't add recommendations. Recommendation is be a. I mean, I do recommendations. I mean, and the minimum how I'm on my own. But we have that books anyway. I want to add recommendations. But the most important thing is that we are starting with in conclusion. Oh, okay. Come on. I'm of the view that I totally agree. I completely agree. I'm of the opinion that computers would replace teachers, or computers would be used more. As compared to and I computer to be much demand as compared to teachers. Because no one stay to point in a different context. Okay. Who's stop? Yes, but then you still be checking as to whether you have written 250 words or more. You see, you count the number of words are actually on the line. See, as a man I practice, you know, it's ultimately taking note of that. The number of words you write on the line times the number of lines. That will give you 250. Oh, sure. Before sure. I look at start working, no? there's all market, all kinds of number of lines, no market. What depends on that? I'll take it. Okay, we should do that. We'll do 250. Uh -huh. See, all uh -huh. to another one, we'll say that way. We'll you're writing more. And the possibility okay. that we'll see that in my hand. And I don't wait to put your good ideas at the end uh, of the day. <laughs> your good ideas should always come first. Because it be I know any like next time next man can you know, do maybe a good ideas in the world. But your good ideas, a bad friends are very popular and not can you know, see. So that is why I think we have a plan and when you plan, you know what to bring first and what to bring last. Sure, sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. So until whichever side you are picking, you are raising points to support that side. Number two, oh. you state your stance in the introduction. Anna. It's not always the point, it's always the reason why, uh, and I always stated the reasons in the introduction, but it gives you some kind of a mind, some, uh, can say, an insight into your essay. Okay. It's a bit more with you points, you know, um, in a more simpler way, or oh, introduction, you know, man, just to, let me just say, point, you know, reason, and one I become one step, and in the other now, what kind of introduction, you know, it's a cause, uh, they be a chip on the bar first, uh, my chip and my first. Put up on the bar face, uh, my put up on my face in the body. And and then you know, a part of the organization. Alright, alright. Okay. So I don't know if it's a question you or Okay. Uh I think. I'm here. So, uh, with this, you know, uh, you don't go with any overview and I say, wouldn't you know, I like intro, you know, like what you are going to talk about, and rather you end it with your conclusion. I was here. Conclusion. Now, but we just all, and it's all part of it, so I think we should be the same ways. Now you're part of it. Okay. 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 Uh, I think I'm, 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 I'm good now. I think I'm good. So, uh, when, when, when the question like comes in this form, maybe you'll be able to say, to what extent do you agree or disagree with statements not the amount now? It means that uh, you definitely have to uh, um, take uh, a side either to use like partially, you know, and I say, whatever. Base, base, just start here, you know, said the questions are about you being like specific or maybe a one, agree or disagree. And I'm a second point to say, to what extent, and a question will come in this agree or disagree with the statement. I don't know. Yeah, hello. Uh, I hope you can hear me. Ah, uh, I can hear you. Okay, I have a rough one. Let me ask a question. 
Uh huh. Now, Mr. Sir, um, also the question can come in two forms. One, after giving you the statement, you know, I will say, yeah, do you agree or disagree? And now, say, oh, Mr. Sir, yeah, to what extent do you agree or disagree? Mm-hmm. And see, um, you made uh, a point that uh, it's advisable to do away with the partiality. I partially agree or I partially disagree. You know. Do away with it and then you go straight. Agree or I totally agree or say I agree or disagree with this statement. And I'm just saying, like, what is the um, exact difference? If the question comes in in the second form, maybe to what extent do you agree or disagree? Like, and also you have to make a firm stand. You go straight forward, say I agree. And as you use those words, you no know, uh, partially. And that's a uh, fully anyway, you know. Or any form that the question comes, you no, know, you do away with the partially and whatever, and then you go straight forward. If you I agree. Yeah, um, the difference between to what extent do you agree or disagree? Any do you agree or disagree? You know? Hey, with the first one, to what extent do they want to know the degree and the level with which you agree and disagree? In t- they would want to know whether you fully agree, you partially agree, and now you completely agree. In this uh, question, never say to what extent, mm, to what extent that they want to, they want you to qualify. Oh, the word agree, and it's agreed with something, which is to like that thing. You know, once I were qualified, that means the show of the level who agree, and the level who disagree. They would want you to add something like totally. I totally agree. I totally disagree. Um, I completely agree. I completely disagree. I partially agree. I partially disagree. And they would want you to add in either, either of these ways partially, completely, fully, totally. Yeah. But they might get more complicated. And yes, so the couple partially, because the couple partially agree or partially disagree, it means you are in between. And your essay should be written as such. But mostly, it's uh, very difficult to write that essay because I don't know they didn't want to hear you are swinging more to one side than the other. But so, for partiality, you should stand in between. You make sure say, you are giving equal attention to disagree and agree. And to be on the safer side, to not stress yourself in this type of essay, you know, make sure say, you are either going for one side. You don't limit yourself to partially agree or partially disagree. Because what for Sarah partially agree and partially disagree. It means there's all true what's in, in, in like equality. There's all true inequality, like one swing from one side to the other. Yeah, see, like you just have to take notice of that. Yeah, hello. That's my own. Okay, more than half of.
Netflix. Netflix ini Messi besar. Apa tu nampak? So, so apa nampak? Apa tu nampak? Apa tu nampak?